A new at-home HPV screening test has been launched across Canada as multiple provinces have started to phase out traditional pap smears for HPV tests. The testing kit by Switch Health can be bought online at the cost of $99 and is available across Canada except for PEI and the Northern Territories. The launch of the kit follows calls by doctors across the country for better access to cervical cancer screening in Canada. Now, This comes as cervical screening at doctors' offices is also starting to shift away from traditional pap smears. Prince Edward Island announced in May that it would be replacing the pap test with the HPV test as the primary screening method. The move followed Quebec's announcement last year to offer HPV testing over the PAP test as well. With the introduction of at-home HPV tests, doctors are hoping that it would help to put an end to the most common sexually transmitted infection globally. Well, joining us now to give us his advice on HPV screening and these new at-home tests is Dr. Abhishek Rout, Medical Director at Apple Tree Medical Group. Dr. Rout, welcome back. Great to be here. So let's start with going over what exactly HPV is and why women in particular need to be tested for it. Well, HPV uh, or human papilloma uh, virus is really a group of viruses that can affect different parts of the body, including the genital area, the mouth and the throat. Uh, When it comes to women, HPV testing is extremely important because this virus, uh, especially certain high risk types of this virus, so HPV 16 and 18, is strongly uh, linked with cervical cancer. So the tricky part about HPV is even though it's linked to cervical cancer, it often doesn't show any symptoms, which is why we need to have those regular testings done. Uh, It is quite a silent invader and can wreak a lot of havoc if it's going unchecked. Uh, So detecting HPV through testing allows doctors and other healthcare providers to really spot these high-risk strains early Uh, and then take preventive measures or provide treatment to prevent cervical cancer from developing. Now, it's really interesting. I found out that uh, over 80% of sexually active women are likely to get HPV in their lifetime versus over 90% of men. So it's quite common, Dr. Rout. Uh, But how does the HPV virus interact with a man's body compared to a woman's body? Well, it doesn't play by the same rules for everyone. Uh, In women, the high-risk HPV strains are notorious for their link to cervical cancer, uh, which is why testing is such a focus for women. Uh, However, in men, the risk of developing cancer for HPV is lower. But here's the catch. Men can still contract the virus and become carriers. And so they can potentially transmit them to their partners. Uh, HPV in men can also lead to genital warts, which is not only uncomfortable, but uh, something they'd rather avoid. So it really is a matter of different risks and different health impacts for men and women. All right, Dr. Rao, now turning uh, to the sort of shift away from traditional pap smears to HPV testing, uh, what is the difference between the efficacy of the two and why are some provinces making the switch? Right, so the transition from these traditional pap smears, uh, which everyone hates, uh, to HPV testing is a significant step forward in cervical cancer prevention. The main difference is really how these tests work. Uh, Pap smears uh, involve collecting some cells from the cervix, examining them for any abnormalities. And while they're effective, they may not catch those really subtle signs of uh, HPV infections, but HPV testing actually directly checks for the presence of the virus itself. Uh, especially those high-risk types. So this is really upgrading from a basic screening to a far more advanced one. So it's it's uh, definitely welcome news that several provinces are going to make the switch uh, and because it's definitely much more accurate and reliable for early detection. Sounds to be much more targeted then. Uh, so what are your thoughts on the launch of this uh, at-home HPV testing device? Well, I think this is very exciting news. I think it introduces a much more convenient and accessible way for women to get screened for HPV. Uh, We're removing this barrier of the traditional pap smear, and that's a big deal. It can encourage a lot more people to take this important step about being tested. Uh, And then once people are screened, there's a much higher likelihood of detecting HPV infections early on. uh, And that's going to be a game changer for really uh, cervical cancer prevention and treatment. All right, Doctor, it looks like we've got a quick 45 seconds left here, but uh, would you briefly be able to walk us through how this at-home device works? Absolutely. So the the test kit, uh, in this case, what we're going to see is the comfort and accessibility differences. There's no need for a speculum, which can be uncomfortable. It's just a simple brush that's going to collect a vaginal sample using basically a cotton swab. And then that's sent off to the lab and you're going to get tested just with that material alone. So no speculum and no going to a doctor's office for it. 
Sounds like quite the relief, Dr. Rout. Again, really appreciate your time. Thank you again.